Speaking of new coaches, there's a new coach for the first time at the Titans slash Oilers franchise. The first time in a long time. Jeff Fisher's not head coach. It's Mike Munchak. Here's the pick. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jake Locker, quarterback, Washington. Well, this is a guy. So the Titans go quarterback. Remember Vince Young out? Yeah. Gary Collins, who knows? Jeff Fisher no longer coach. He dates back to the Oilers. Mike Munchak, offensive lineman. Maybe he feels, man, maybe I could block for Jake Locker. I don't know. Every year you meet a guy that really impresses you and you just love to coach. This guy reminds me of a young Rich Gannon. He's got very, he's got a lot of guts. And I've seen him throw the ball and be dominant at times. I love what this guy brings. Competitiveness. This guy's athletic. He runs 4'5". He's 230 pounds. He's going to be able to keep plays alive and create offense for you. He might be the toughest guy that I've studied in this draft. He'd be one of those throwback players that would play without a face mask. Jake Locker did it with a subpar supporting cast at Washington. I think there were times that's all they had was Jake Locker. Great game day competitor. I realize he does have some issues with accuracy and inconsistency. But this is the kind of quarterback that I would love to coach. John, I had him number one on the board late August, early September. He goes four for 20 against Nebraska with a couple picks. Starts dropping down the board. A couple days before the draft, you're thinking, okay, he's moved up. Maybe he goes to Minnesota at 12. Tennessee took him at eight because they felt he was the best quarterback on the board, maybe outside of Newton. Maybe they had him ahead of a Newton. Bottom line is, they're moving forward, Tennessee is, with Jake Locker. The issue with Locker is accuracy in the pocket. Complete percentage, 55%. Early in his career, is at 47-3. Now, when he's outside the pocket, he is dead on. He made some great throws. I thought he made some good throws, even in the pocket, in some games. BYU makes a great throw to get him down at a 30-yard line. Late in the game, it's 23-17. He did a touchdown to win. Running play, running play, quarterback draw, batted down pass on fourth down. Took the ball out of his hands. I thought they should have let this guy go more through the air this year. He was banged up a little bit, Sean, because the supporting cast was subpar. Bottom line is, if you're not completing a higher percentage of 55 percent, John, in college, you're killing me, Mel. Itself. I mean, you guys look at these stats. They drive me crazy. I get arguments with you all the time. I'm watching this guy play against Nebraska. Where do you want him to go with the football? There's nobody's open. He's running for his life. He throws the ball away. It's a great play because it's the only play. It happens 66 times, Mel. This guy's got nowhere to go with the ball. He throws it away. The guy is a winner. The guy stood up for what he believes in. I'm going to get my team in a bowl game and I'm going to graduate. He bypassed millions of dollars. That's the kind of guy I would vote for if he was running in an election. Chris, I love Locker. I'm a Locker stalker, man. Well, let me ask you this. So four-year starter, his percentage in the 50s, right? Completion percentage. I'm not trying to compare him, but Brett Favre, Southern Miss, four-year starting starter percentage in the low 50s. That's why I like working with you, Boomer. Yeah. I like that. I love him. I love him. And Tennessee's going to, look, it's their quarterback out in San Francisco. Vince Young on his way out of Tennessee. Shake Locker, Love their it. new signal <laughs> guy. He's a Husky man. Yeah, coach. <laughs> coach like this this, this, this guy is Give him a couple years and he's going to surprise people. He's developing. All right. Well, the Jake Locker shocker, he spoke about it after he heard his name. Didn't expect to call from him. I try not to go in with uh, expectations into this draft. Uh, you know, there's somebody that I've worked out a lot for, did a lot for throughout this process. And, uh, you know, when I got the call from that area code, uh, that's what I was hoping that they were calling about. It's a dream come true for me. And, and to end up in a place like that, it, it's, uh, it's so fitting. And um, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. Oh, Jake Locker. Okay, pick it up there, Coach. He's your guy. He's a, he's well, a Washington guy. Yeah. Tell and us, Coach. Tell, tell us. us. Why did he go away? Why? Yeah. Why did he go away? Because there. this guy is a outstanding young man with a ton of athletic ability. The knock on him has been his accuracy. They say he's not accurate. Yet, when he gets out of the pocket, he is accurate. He, he, this guy was only coached as by, from a, with a quarterback coach for two years when, when Doug Nussmeyer came in with Steve Sarkeesian. He's on the rise. I mean, this guy's got tons of upside, and he's the kind of face you want representing your franchise. This is a, You want your daughter to marry this guy, okay? I mean, he's just as good as they get. He's, he's like you, man. He's speaking clean. <laughs> 
Right. But okay. I tell you, when you watch him on film, that was one of the things that I liked. He, he was one of the He's most tough. impressive top to bottom, being able to throw outside the pocket, being able to move, having the stature, having the athletic ability. He looked the part. But – you still always got to go back to production, and that's my question. The last couple years, you know, 50-plus percent pass or never hit the 60 percent mark. That worries me when you're going from one level up to another level and yeah. you never hit that 60 percent mark. I'm a little worried about his accuracy, but I think he is a great leader, and he brings – all the possibilities to the table. I just uh, a little question right now. <laughs> Number what he's eight. got, he's he's got, he's mentally tough. He's hard. Yeah. He's a great competitor. I feel better about this guy being my quarterback than I do Cam Newton being my quarterback. Mm. Okay, now I'm biased, granted, <laughs> yeah, but I've sat in meetings with Jake Locker and I've yeah. seen how he studies and how he approaches the game. I've been out at practice many times and watched his presence on the field and how the players just embody his mindset and he's mm -hmm. got a tough mindset and he's going to be a heck of a player in this league and, and, and all those good things that the that, that coach is talking about he'll be able to impose that on his football team uh, the, the only concern I have with him is his accuracy but if sure. he gets with a good good coach there that can work with him I think that can be corrected and we can see a very fantastic football player. He's got CJ behind him too that won't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And Locker the shocker <laughs> perhaps in the top 10 the Dallas Cowboys